So we welcomed Peter Fink to the Morning Blend for years mm -hmm. and for years and years. <laughs> he said, please provide the year, <laughs> the make, and the model of your car if you have questions. We think he'll be pleased today. And hopefully our viewers who submitted these questions will get some helpful information. Yeah, Peter has decades of experience. He owns Certified Transmission. Always right. nice to see you, Peter. Welcome oh. back. Stop by. Always make great model. after a long weekend like this. You yeah. know? The, year the Huskers model. won. You know, so. <laughs> no, that's, that's good. Yeah. And by they, they a should mile. have won. I'm sorry. <laughs> they should have won. That's, that's true. <laughs> uh, the year making model, that's important though. Oh, right? without a doubt. I mean, I stand a much better chance to give you a little bit of idea of what's going on with your car when I get the year making mm -hmm. model. Okay, and stuff, you know. Okay, well, of course, the there's still some once in a while, you know. I don't have uh, that crystal ball always, you yes. know. So. Well, this first question is a little bit more general, and then we'll get into the specifics. Okay. But I think this is cool because you're right there, not just as a professional, but as a car enthusiast. Yeah, sure. it's from Brian. He says it's a personal tilt. New cars are coming out with more and more fancy options each year. What are some of your favorites? You know, I've always said you have to match a car to what you're going to do with it, okay? Uh like I've got a pickup truck, okay, and I pull a big trailer, 36 foot trailer to haul cars around or some of the toys or whatever and different things mm -hmm. like that. And so one of the nice ones is the backup camera to yes. hook up to the hitch, right, okay, right. and mm -hmm. stuff, all right? And then they also have a camera to pick up for if you have a fifth wheel, okay, because that's also like almost a two man job also, mm -hmm. okay? So that one is really, really cool, okay? The other one that is nice in the summertime, of course, is the air conditioned seats, okay? That's <laughs> Come out That's with, okay? yeah. That one is nice. I've always loved the heated seats for the uh -huh. winter time, okay, yeah. you know, but the air conditioned seats in the summertime. Yeah. Of course, the old standbys, you know, you ever hop in a, a car without power windows anymore, you almost go, how do you get the car's right. window uh -huh. up and down? You know, or something like that. Thinking, and I've yeah. seen that with young kids, you know, when they've only been around power windows yes. and they see a crank and they don't even know. How do I right. roll the window it's up? It's like and down, opening you know? a book exactly. and then trying to swipe it like a tablet. You know what I mean? Last it's like, one, Cirrus Radio. I like the Cirrus like Radio that. if you're traveling. Okay, now in town it ain't that big a deal, but with my truck pulling the trailer, mm -hmm. I'm driving that thing five, six, ten hours. Okay, in Cirrus yeah. Radio. Do you listen to and talk, my, sports, music? Uh, all you the know, above. a combination of all the above. Yeah. Okay, and different things. Okay, and stuff. And then the phone tied into the radio oh, that your hands free wheel? that you can be able That's to nice. talk. Okay, That's and stuff. I've got one of these new Explorers. It's got this. You can and it will parallel park your car for you. If you're no, driving no. down, you hit the button, and once it detects an open spot, you hit the brakes, put it in reverse, it will steer it back into that spot for really? you. That's you, probably you awesome. It? I don't own a car that's done that. No, I haven't no, tried no, that no. one. That probably would be. Yeah. Wow. A lot of people can't parallel park without yeah. a doubt. No, no I get know? that. Uh, let's get on to our we probably questions. Should. I know we <laughs> yeah. just didn't talk about all, all the things these we love all, all day. day. So the second question, a little bit longer. Peter has seen the full version, but we've condensed it for TV. And Sally Ann writes in, the check engine light recently came on my 2011 Kia Sorento. The dealer said it was safe to drive. The light went off after I had the oil changed and got a new battery. I wondered if the battery could be the cause of the light coming on. Should I feel confident driving it now? Well, I don't think the battery, unfortunately, I'm with the customer on this. I don't think the battery caused the check engine light. I've never seen that. It can cause a light to come on or your charging gauge if it is low or your alternator not working, okay, and stuff. As the car gets older, the batteries go bad, as we've talked about before, okay? So I don't think it's related. Check engine light usually comes on with something that the engine isn't running right or the uh, environmental, okay, uh, it's not burning the gas correctly. It's either too rich or too lean or something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, leaving a gas cap loose can cause that, okay, a check engine light because it checks the EVAP system, okay. Uh, the thing that bothers me is they said when you go scan it, even if the check engine light goes off, a good tech should always check the history, okay? There's two kinds of uh, codes in there. There's one that's immediate, and then there's one that says the history of what caused it to go on. And unless you did 50 or 100 key cycles, then that mm -hmm. could clear out. But mm -hmm. it, if it, the light goes off, it's still in the history. And usually it'll tell you what caused it, what sensor went out of range on it. Um, I'll be honest with the 2011 here, I don't have a mm -hmm. lot and then it's not gone away. Uh, I would say drive it, don't be scared of it, okay? Uh, and if the check engine light comes on, probably want to go to a different mm -hmm. garage and have it checked better, check okay? History. Because this is really, this one shouldn't have been missed, okay, in my opinion. Some shop didn't really do all their, and let's be honest, a shop's only as good as the technician that's checking out the car. And if you got the newbie that just came out of school, mm -hmm. might not have known that, it didn't mean he's 
bad, okay? He just doesn't have the experience yet, okay? And stuff, All right. You know? I've got a gripe about those check engine lights. There should be a check engine light that is more <laughs> for, you know, the <laughs> critical check your engine, and then the other check engine light is, I would light agree is, with ah, you. If you get some time, check this it out. So you know, you know I mean? a lot of times the check engine light is tied to the oxygen sensor and running correctly, mm -hmm. and not necessarily critical like your engine's going to quit, yeah. okay, and stuff, yeah. all right? Gas cap. Because I'll drive my car till it dies. <laughs> Finally, Kara writes, I have an 06 Prius, and sometimes the dash lights don't turn on when I start the car. It happens sometimes in the super cold, but fixes itself after the car has some time to warm up. But it happened again the other day. What gives? All right, on this one, a lot of people on the Prius, that's obviously a hybrid. You've got several batteries. You've got one big monster battery underneath the back seat that it actually drives the car, okay, and stuff. And so a lot of people don't realize there's a secondary battery just like a normal car has, okay? And if this is an 06 and that battery's never been replaced, mm. ah, the battery's mm. probably causing the problem, okay? And see, the battery's low. It doesn't start the car, that battery. It runs all your accessories. As you're driving it, oh. it charges back up, and then it starts working, okay? Mm -hmm. So I suspect a battery or a loose connection. Uh, sometimes there's been some ground connections. I've talked about ground connections before also. Uh, not just at the battery, but the body grounds, the little cable that goes over to the body. And then there's other grounds through the fuse box and the computer and all that. So they probably might need to be cleaned also. But first I check with the battery, clean the grounds, probably go away after that. Are I those Prius suspect. batteries more expensive? Are they pricey? Well, the little one, the 12-volt one, is like a regular car okay. battery, mm -hmm. okay? The one under the back seat that drives story. it, that's $4,000, yeah. yeah. okay? Ouch. So that's yeah. that's not the one I'm talking okay, about. Good, I'm good. talking about the little oh, $100, $150 battery. Right. Okay, well, that's stuff, good right? news there. So certified transmission, five locations in the area. You're welcome to make appointments online, learn more about the services offered at CertifiedTransmission.com. Peter Fink, always great to have you here. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. We appreciate right. seeing appreciate you. It. And if you'd like to get Peter's take on a car question of your own, we'd love to hear from you. Remember, make, model, all that stuff. Email talkback at OmahaMorningBlend.com.